All right, as I explained when I imported these, I turned off the automatically generate collisions. And so I'm going to have to show you now how to generate your own collisions because these things will need collisions in order to work properly. So let's do that. If you select the object, right click on it, edit test box, it will open it in its own little scene here. And this one is particularly interesting because if you just generate a collision, then it will make it go around this whole box here. And then your guy won't be able to walk on the inside of it because you'll be inside of that collision. So actually what you can do here is add box simplified collision. Okay, so that's when it generates all by itself. But what you can do is take this and then we can just scale it down like that. And you could type in your own numbers if you want, but it really doesn't matter for this. Now go to move. Here's all your transformation tools up here. And let's just set that to the outer edge of that wall like that. Perfect. So now, and if you hold down Alt and move, move it, you'll create another one, which is great. Let's see if we can go to a different view and get a better view of it. We want the right view, looks like. Line that right up. Okay, back to perspective. Now, all these boxes are, are collisions. Now, on most objects, you could just do add box collisions. It would fit it to the object, and it would be perfect, just like that. This one, we kind of want something different so that we can walk around on the inside of it, right? If that makes sense. And I think you'll see what I'm talking about as we go along. So as you can see, I'm just kind of placing all these things where I want them. And this is pretty basic stuff. We actually don't even need one on the roof. We're not going to jump through the roof. Now let's scale this up a little bit. And it's okay if they overlap and if they're too big, whatever, that's fine. Because we just need something to run into there. There we go. Now we do need one of these in the back. Let's make sure to go to move. Hold down Alt. Let's rotate it. Grab it down at the bottom here like this. Ah, screwed it up again. Okay, right there. There we go. Move. Get it lined up in the back there. Now we have a full box of collisions around this so that our guy won't fall out and won't be able to run right through these walls here. So if you save that and close down the object editor and then hit play, let's see if our guy still started inside. Yes, he did. Let's see if we run into the wall. See that? Pushing forward, but it's not going. Okay, so there's some collisions, which is great. Oh, but as you can see, still not perfect. One thing we also need to do is make sure, hit escape to get out. Where's our camera? Find our camera. Okay, I'm focusing on the camera now. Let's make sure that little capsule, that collision capsule, is up above the ground plane so that it actually won't fall through that floor. I should put us up a little higher like that. Now, obviously, the center wall needs a collision, and that's a good one to show you another example. So hold on for one second. Let's escape. Let's select that. Right click, edit test box. Now with this one it's easy. We can just do collision, add simplified, add box simplified collision. And with that one because we don't need to be going through it or inside of it or anything, that collision works perfectly. So we can just save that, close this, and now we shouldn't be able to walk through that wall anymore. See that? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we're, we're starting to make progress here. Great, our collisions are pretty much set up. I need to set up one for this glass so that I can no longer go through here. But other than that, we're pretty much ready to go on the collisions. So see, we didn't need to automatically generate collisions for every object in our scene. We really just needed some simple ones. And we're good to go. Now if I could jump high enough, I could jump through that ceiling. But I can't, so we don't even need one up there. I just need one on this glass and then we're ready to go.